Welcome back to This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on Arise News Channel. A Saudi teenager who fled her family alleging abuse and got stranded at a Bangkok airport has arrived in Canada after being granted asylum there. Rahaf Mohammed al Kunun had been trying to reach Australia via Bangkok but was initially told to return to Kuwait where her family were waiting. She refused to fly back and barricaded herself in her hotel room, airport hotel room, attracting international attention. She had renounced Islam, punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to her, because if she had had to go back to Saudi with her father and her brother, I'm pretty sure she would never have been heard of again. again. Well, I don't know. You see, this, um, this again goes to way of life, way of living, people's beliefs. Um, you must understand, the, the Saudi system is so male-dominated. Uh, I think it's Islam, really, some kind of Islam that, you know, is being practiced there where the women maybe should not be seen. And it starts from the home, where you find a young lady like that running and saying, the danger is from her father and from her brother. Yes. And she just looking for asylum to get out of Saudi Arabia. You know, um, I think she was in Thailand when she, this whole thing started. Yes. And she initially wanted to go to Australia or something. Australia wouldn't have her. There were all the diplomatic, you know, hula baloo. Then finally, I think, the UN intervened and all that, and they are down talking. I th not they are not talking. I think she's been allowed to go to Canada. Yeah, she's arrived in Canada. And, uh, and uh, you know, she's so happy and she's ready to go and make a life for herself out there, all by herself. And she's happy to do that away from her family. You see, so you begin to wonder what can be happening at home that makes you run away from your family. Yes. I don't, I don't understand that. I know this I don't came know. to international attention because she opened a Twitter account. So there is a lot of positives to social media quite clearly. Definitely, clear. yeah, because it was the, 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 the whole thing that gave her the, the push that got everybody behind her that helped her to be able to get the asylum she was seeking. But what I want to know, and maybe, you know, I want to be educated on this, maybe by Muslims, why, what will have happened to a woman that she's running from her family? That's well, what I want to understand. a number of things. Maybe mm -hmm. just an oppressive or abusive home environment. But Some we have abusive home environments, eh, an oppressive home environment, even in Christian homes, everywhere in the world. That but happens. Maybe it's extreme. And you know, mm -hmm. in some cultures, honor killings are still practiced. She's renounced Islam that's punishable by death. It could be any number of things. Okay that made her make that move. But do not try this at home, I'd like to say to everybody watching. Yes. She got away with it because it's Saudi and it's Canada. They have a history of sort of diplomatic tensions. And yes. Canada mm. is this bastion of free freedom, freedom and what have you. But if another, if a Nigerian decided to go on Twitter and start to denounce their parents, they, they might find that United Nations will not take up their case. Why, why, why does this happen to us, Mr. Kabolafe? Because I kept thinking a Nigerian teenager probably will not get this kind of international attention, and it's unfair. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Tundu, for bringing you know, this up. First, let me say that I'm happy for uh, the, young, the young lady that she's in safety. Yes. You know, and that I also uh, I support, you know, our uh, <clears throat> quest for freedom. Because for me, that is the most important thing. You know, we're talking about democracy, about you know, the, f the first condition is that, you know, to defend human freedom and that she's entitled to it. So I'm, I'm so happy, you know, for I, I congratulate her that at least she's a safety and she has been able to get her freedom and uh, hoping that she'll be able to make uh, a good life, you know, in, uh, in Canada. But the dimension which I've introduced is very interesting and very significant, you know, uh, especially in our own context. I agree with you that yeah, if anybody thinks that you can play, <laughs> you can, <laughs> you can <laughs> have a, you know, a, a reenactment of, uh, of that particular scenario, it will, it will not, it will not, it will, not, it will, it will, it will not uh, backfire, I know. And the, the uh, other thing we should also look at again that, this is also sending a message, you know, to Saudi Arabia, you know, because if you see some events lately, in, in, lately like you know, the Khashoggi uh, right? exactly, you know. Mm -hmm. So you know that, you know, that the the, lib the liberal impulse, you know, the, the, the liberal impulse, you know, in some of uh, <clears throat> you know the forces within the, the country, you know, I mean, it's, things are getting to a point where you will not be able to restrict, you know, you know for, for, for I mean, for so long, you know, how it will play out. I mean, it's a matter of conjecture, but, really high. But, but then it, it, shows, it shows that, 
a pressure, you know, is, is building, you know, and uh, I would imagine that the leadership, you know, should be able to uh, capture, you know, the dynamics, you know, and find a way, you know, of, uh, you know, uh, 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 resol resolving it, because there's a limit to which you can, you know, keep... But I thought they were even yeah. liberalizing. Yeah. Because from nowhere, sometime middle of last year, remember we saw they women. Them to drive. Yeah, women go behind the wheel but for the first time. But it seems to have taken you know? one step forward and 20 steps back. Because, so yeah. that's what I don't really understand. Can we juxtapose Canada's attitude to Saudi Arabia to that of the United States? Whereas okay. Canada has been heavily critical, especially about the Khashoggi murder, mm -hmm. um, the, the, at the very all levels of government. Mm -hmm. In America, you find that only really Congress yes. is speaking out against that. Yeah. Donald Trump is practicing the most cynical of real yeah. politics. Uh, he does you know not that? care. No, the money, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have said it, you have said it all. Line the money, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So That's right. What do you think about that? I mean, the United States is thinking of the like, financial sort of implications of these diplomatic measures. Canada is not. But yeah. even before this happened with this teenager, yes. because the Canadian Foreign Affairs Minister tweeted about her grave concern, those were her words, grave concern about the arrest of some women's rights activists, Canada canceled several trade deals, investment deals, just canceled it. Mm -hmm. What risk is Canada taking by admitting this girl? Yeah, I think, I think the point you, you have made is, you know, you know, for Mr. Trump, everything in politics is a deal, a transactional, it's a matter of... Uh, you know, a business, business. But in Canada, it's got a, it, it, at the heart of their politics, you still have some elements of values, that are certain things, that, you know, certain values which, you know, a country should hold on to. Because what you're having here is, is a, a, a clash of uh, maybe not to uh, unduly borrow uh, Professor Hortin, you know, a clash of uh, civilization, you know. That's what we're having, you know. The, lib the, the young lady, the young lady, uh, like I said, has a liberal impulse, which is now in, co in coalition with that, uh, the values, you know, of our family, yes. which is still rooted in the conservatism, you know, of, of, the, of, the, of the society, you know. And I'm saying this without any prejudice to the legitimacy, you know, of the tradition of whatever informing but just to point out that in re, in, in, uh, what we are seeing in reality is a clash. You know, that, you know. So the lady is just ha uh, lucky, like you said now, that in this, in this, in, in, uh, on this occasion, Canada that you know cherishes, cherishes some values, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. which are now <clears throat> uh, coterminous with the the yen is what the lady needs at this at, at this particular moment is rising to the occasion. It could have been a different thing if uh, <laughs> if you have a Mr. Trump in, in Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's, <laughs> because, where, yeah. that, that's where that's yeah. where I might yeah. even defy a bit. Okay. I think it's more of America, not just Trump. Even if it was an Obama there, even if it was Bush, you see, America has certain state policies that are constant, no matter what you do, because it's all about their interests. Don't forget that America, the role America plays in the world. It's different from the role Canada plays. Yes. America is a policeman of the free world, whether we like it or not. And that comes with a lot of responsibilities. So whatever they do, they are the ones that have to send their troops to Syria, that Trump is saying the troops should come back. They have to send their troops all over the world. They send their equipment of, you know, and um, all kinds of uh, weaponry all everywhere. So what I'm trying to say is that because these things have to be funded, they have to be smart. And that's why, as far as they're concerned, they are true to their interests. They, they're not going to burn yes. trillion dollar bridges no, to help no, a no, little, little teenager. Was, uh, America would never, under whoever is president. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, with you, Trump, but, but it can be a little, it can be a tad, you know, too far. No, no but, but remember, under, generally, was under Bush, there was this young boy, uh, Gonzalez, you know, the, the Cuban yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, America went Elian all the way. Yes, yes, I remember that. To, to, you know, yes. And Cuba, of course, yes. you know. No, you know, you know, from you know, so, time, Cuba uh -huh. is a so, country that is 90 miles off their coast. Yes, exactly. Doing communism, yeah, yeah. America will not take that to them. So, so every yeah. so often, thing. you're saying a child's plight will sort of ignite the public's imagination, and yeah. regardless of what your policies are at that time, the cases will be looked at favorably. Yes. But not Nigerians, it must be reiterated, do not try this at home. And, and thank you for stressing, for stressing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's public service here. <laughs> a pre-recorded interview of President Buhari was conducted by a sister company, This Day Newspaper Board of Editors and Arise News, tagged 90 Minutes with President Buhari. The board of editors spent over an hour questioning the president about the substance of his major policy signature issues, such as lapses in security, the fight against corruption, the economy, poverty alleviation, and the infrastructure deficit. 
In the course of the interview, President Buhari was asked why he had not removed the service chiefs, despite the increasing spate of attacks by Boko Haram members. In his response, President Buhari said he followed due process in appointing the service chiefs and did not know they would perform poorly and accepted responsibility for their poor performance. Let's watch. <laughs> you, British fatigue is uh, those who are really in the trenches. But you could recall at a certain stage, I said they should move the operational headquarters to the North East. I'm sure you can recall that because you reported it. Um, I think here, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to be relative to my own service because. Uh, if I can fall back on my own experience, for the 30 months of the civil war, I was all in the front. It's only that God helped me. I always stumbled in, in Yam's uh, farm or, or, and wear my clothes. While people close me, I've been shot dead. Um, but but uh, you see, the, the level of uh, people that comprise the organizations it's good to arrange relief, and that is the service chiefs are doing. Mr. Kamala, should I start with you? Because you're an insider. What was your take on that 90 Not minutes of the president? You were there. You yeah, were yeah, I, I, actually, I, I actually asked the, the question. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what was your take? What was your 90 minutes of the president like? Yes, I think I've had, I've had the occasion to say, uh, to say uh, for I, I've, uh, uh, maybe to quote uh, our chairman, Enrique Bagbena, you know, uh, he was brutally honest, but he was not mindful of being politically correct. You know, some of the things he said, like I said, a, a, typical, a typical politician would not <laughs> say that, you know, and he, he did not mind saying it. I think he, res he responded to the question to the best of his ability. So maybe I should listen to. Uh, <laughs> I, I, since, what, what? Since, since I was one of the interviewers, so <laughs> you don't have to yeah. be a judge. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. was your yeah. objective assessment of maybe the Maybe let me listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put for me for your magisterial? No, 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 no. no. Not, nothing like that. You want to put me on the spot? Yeah. No. You see, I'm yeah. looking at it holistically. Yeah. I'm not even looking at just the sound bites of what the president said. I'm looking at one, why could we not have a live interview? You know, there were all these issues about um, you guys, they were, your tape was even taken. No, uh -huh. no, no, you know, we had all that. Exactly. So you see, you no, might the, be the okay. one to the, tell the, us the how that. The tape was not taken. Uh -huh. that was the the initial one. concept mm -hmm. was, it was supposed to be a, an interview by a combined team of Arise and, and this, uh, day. this Day. So Arise was supposed to uh, record the, the the interview, you know, okay. you know uh, For and so the state house uh, guy said, "Arise, camera crew will not be allowed." Okay. You no. Know. So what you are actually seeing was actually uh, the, a record by camera is a camera in, in, in the state, state house. house. Okay. You know, I wouldn't know who is operating operating that. Okay. So it was recorded by that part, by with that, with that camera. Okay. And the tape. And the battle rose, okay. to be honest. Okay. It was not doctor, it was exactly what, what because, because don't forget that we that's this day, we also had our own audio uh, uh, recording. recording. There is no there is no difference between what we recorded in, uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> with the audio uh, the device. And the video. You know, and, and, the, and, the, and the video. Every, every, it wasn't well, doctor. Anyway, you see, so, so that, was, that was just the context. Fantastic. Yeah. You see, because this is it. So many misconceptions it's out there. Trash. Yes, it's, everywhere. It's you like know, it, and I thank God you were there and you have been able to put this to rest. But looking at the substance of the, of the interview, just like he said, uh, the president, like you know, he's a general. He told you about during the war how he fought. You know, he was taking bullets on the front. You know, but if he accepts that indeed there's a failure in our security architecture, the box stops with him, and I think he should take steps to correct that. Why has Definitely. he stopped? Why has he stopped at just accepting responsibility you without know, further action? I think, like, you're sorry, that what, I didn't get the question. Why has he stopped at accepting responsibility for the failures without yeah. taking further action? But that, that is the that is the question. I think that day he said yes. it wasn't 
He didn't say any, anything about changing the establishment. Yes. The only uh, comment was on the IG. Yes. And he only said he would take action. Yes. Whatever that action is. No, well, that's, well, his well, yeah, well, that's his prerogative. Yeah. But I think that if he has accepted that indeed there has been a failure, look, you know, when I see, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry, what's going on in the Northeast, my heart bleeds. It's awful. Because these are Nigerians like me. You know, we're very fortunate mm. to be in Lagos and to be living a normal life far like, far we're, we're like, we're like yes. we are living now. That's true. And um, I think that one of the things that gave even some people in the opposition, some comfort when Buhari was coming in was that we were getting a general yes. and we're saying this is a specialist in security. Mm -hmm. And we assumed because we had third seen the security systems in our countries, you know, dwindling to very low levels. And we thought that he would come and arrest that, even if he didn't do anything in the economy yes. and he didn't do anything about anti-corruption but he was able to secure Nigeria. As a commander-in-chief. Yeah, as the yeah. commander-in-chief. And, and um, you know, these unfortunate kidnappings of our young daughters, all these things going on, and, you know, have a sanctity of our borders, especially our northern borders. It's so poor. I'm sure everybody will be saying, carry go now to him. Yeah. He won't even need to be even doing any election. That is the truth. But that fact cannot be you lost know? on him. He must so, know that. Yeah, I think, I think I agree. You know, Absolutely, with, with Chike, you know, that given the outcomes, I think the president has no reason for not changing the services now because, because we have not seen evidence of competence, you know. Yes. But then, <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. Kaude, let me even go a yeah, little bit you know, further yeah. than that. Yeah. Changing the service chiefs, I don't think, can be the end to it all. There must be something wrong in the logbook. Either we are using the wrong equipment, we are not matching the wrong uh, the equipment. The tactics as well. Uh -huh. That is the job, oh, that is the job of, of the, the service, service chief. chief. Yeah. Exactly. You are lucky. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The service chief so, will yeah, say the, that they, the, this the, is going to warfare. The, the, yes. The, the so, commander in chief uh, gives the machine order. Yes. So, the execution of the machine order on the field is the job of the service chief. And we are saying that from the outcomes. Up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've got yeah. a this up, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. You've been watching This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on Arise News. I'm Tundra Abiola. From my entire team and I here in Lagos, it's bye for now. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned.